<laughs> I love being the Dylan Brooks of Indonesia. Yo, what's up, school fans, and welcome back to the vlog. And we are back in Bandung. Malam ini kita akan ngeliput IBL Playoff Game 2 antara Ran Simba Bogor melawan Prawira Harum Bandung. Penasaran sih mau lihat apakah juara bertahan akan menjadi tim pertama yang lolos ke semifinal atau malahan Rans akan bisa memaksakan game ketiga di series ini. Wah, udah gak sabar sih untuk nonton game hari ini. Dan kabarnya Prawira Family juga akan ada a little surprise tonight di Gor Citra yang kabarnya akan rame sih malam ini sih. So, cannot wait to see the atmosphere as well dan gue baru aja mendarat di Bandung dan langsung kita mampir ke Graha Persib guys <laughs> gue baru aja beli dua jersey satu jersinya Brandon Francis dan juga jersinya Yuda ini gue akan bagikan nanti sebagai giveaway di Discord gue karena channel ini akan merayakan 3 year anniversary untuk membership programnya jadi gue mau kasih sedikit reward kepada orang-orang yang sudah selalu support channel ini so big shout out big thank you kepada semua members gue karena members gue lah gue masih bisa membuat vlog IBL dan juga ngeliput basket Indonesia lainnya so once again big thank you big appreciation kepada semua member gue dan kalau kalian enjoy vlog-vlog gue pastikan kalian juga support dan juga klik join di bawah untuk daftar jadi member dan ditunggu nantinya di discordnya timeout gang kalau gitu guys itu aja sih sedikit opening dari gue thank you so much guys for always supporting the channel thank you so much for watching jangan lupa untuk like jangan lupa untuk comment and enjoy the vlog guys before the game with my guy that one <laughs> what's up what's up man I wish you could play man nah uh, believe me I wish I could play too this, I missed the best part of the season um, but I'm two three weeks short so I don't think it's gonna be for me yeah the hat is still on in the cast how long you guys have to wear this uh, hopefully another week and then on Saturday, I start building up again. But you tried to play, right? You tried to play earlier this I week? I tried to practice earlier on, and it just, it, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't catch a ball with my right hand. I couldn't, it was, yeah, I tried. I tried, tried. it's okay. Hey, you know what's crazy? He showed me, I, I saw something on Instagram. Actually, I know his family in Bandung. Oh, <laughs> it's the crazy. Family. Yeah, Artie. That's his cousin, Is that your cousin? Yeah, yeah, that's my cousin. So I got family out here, yeah. printing business. And it's a small world, and, you, small and world. you'll be working with them. Yeah, I'll be working with them. That is crazy, though. But uh, the biggest question is, coming back to IBL right? next season? I say it's 90% likely, for sure. 90%, guys. I'll give, I'll give you 90. I'll give okay. you 90. Yeah. Right, I would then. love to be back. I would love to be back. We need you back, man. You know? yeah. And win the championship in IBL. For sure. Yes, sir. For sure. For sure. Uh, Get well soon, man. Thank you. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Look at, hey, so, so Indonesia, then look at the batik, though. Yeah, batik. Yeah. I got it from, I got it in the city today, Bandung Pride. Bandung Pride, yeah. Bandung Pride. <laughs> Wah, Gus Nanta udah pakainya Sabrina yang kedua, nih. Sabrina 2. Rans will need a big game from him, though. Six men of the year. Six men of the year. Of course. Jersinya lucu juga nih. Pemain ke-13. Oh, no. 
Kondisinya keren nih Di Gajda Silva Seru banget ini, coba udah 3 poin doang, sisa 2 menit lagi Who's gonna win? 
pernah akan ada game 3 nih guys Nah, if you guys enjoy this vlog, pasti kalian kalian support channel ini Jangan kasih like, kasih komen, and please support channel ini guys Jangan klik join di bawah, daftar jadi member Agar channel ini juga nanti ke depannya bisa terus keliput IBL So once again, thank you so much guys for watching And now, let's go back to the game
udah benar-benar matang game hari ini. Jadi apapun yang terjadi di lapangan itu adalah buah dari apa yang kita siapkan. Jadi eh, kemenangan ini itu memang udah kita benar-benar siapkan. They were playing well. They played their style. They do what they do, which is um, lock the game up, make it ugly, do whatever they can to bother you. And they did a good job with that. And I think we played in our, into that hands very much so, especially early in the game. I thought we weren't ready to play. Uh, so I'm very, very upset about that. In a close out game, not being ready to play. Uh, it's pretty surprising to me as a coach, but that comes back to me. Uh, I thought we played better in the second half. Third quarter was really good. Uh, fourth quarter, we got a lot of stops. Uh, we just did weird stuff. Uh, throwing the ball away, rushing shots. Rushing plays, um, and ultimately that was our pace. And right now, the biggest thing for us is we got to calm down. I think we're trying to hit home runs. We're trying to make the crowd go crazy on every play. Uh, and that's just not how basketball works. You just gotta slowly but surely, just play by play, singles, one play at a time. Just keep hammering away, and that's how you win basketball games. And I think right now, we're just too overhyped. We're trying way too hard to do everything at once. And if we just calm down a bit, uh, we'll be much better. But overall, I think our offense had a lot to do with our defense. Our defense has to pick it up and clean it up. Uh, their green boards got off tonight, and that wasn't the plan. Um, so we got to come back ready to go and play more like we did in game one. And uh, I believe the boys will. We had a real honest talk, and uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. What do you think about our chance in the top game tomorrow? Say, I mean, coach on the, hit the hammer on the nail about, you know, everything just relates over defense. You know, we played defense very well, aggressive, but we had a game plan was supposed to be, and our, our flow of offense would have been better. Um, I think this is just a, a learning stage for us. Um, you know, it's every, every game is not going to be a breeze. We have to bring our A game every single day during playoffs. And I think today was just, uh, just a lesson for us, that, you know, knowing that if we don't come in battling like the way they did in the beginning, we weren't, we're not going to win. So, like uh, Coach really spoke to us in the locker room, we got the objective, we're going to sleep on it, we're going to watch film, and, you know, we're going to get ready and just start, you know, preparing for tomorrow. We have to, you know, we just have to play together, we have to play rough. Like Coach said, you know, the game plan was to stop the foreigners, and I think the foreigners kind of went, like, went off today, especially the rebounding aspect. And as a big man, you know, I take I take full responsibility on that. I have to be I have to be better at that. And tonight, I'm gonna just you know watch film, learn from it, and just get ready to get out there tomorrow. Because the the thing that is still the score point, despite of 91-84. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? It's a seven-point lead with 12 seconds left. We've subbed everyone out. It's classic honor in basketball. It's etiquette in basketball. The game is over. Everyone sucked out. Just dribble the ball out and win the basketball game. Like they deserve to win. All credit to them. But no one, any coach in the world knows what that is. And he does too. He can tell you whatever he wants, but in his heart he knows what it is. John, just can you talk about this crazy win tonight? Oh man, <laughs> oh man, nothing like in Indonesia, man. Even man, going back to the Singapore Slinger days and Sarabai, Indonesian crowds are good, passionate um, about basketball, and I love being a villain. You just love being the villain, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love being the Dylan Brooks of Indonesia. What do you think the key to the window tonight? The key to the win was LB getting off to a good start, Kenny being aggressive, and then me just cleaning up everything in between. And then, you know, our locals, man, they filled in the gaps, drove the ball good, made good decisions, and made plays uh, when we needed it. And what about tomorrow? What do you think have to happen tomorrow for you guys to win? We have to repeat, we have to repeat that performance mm -hmm. and um, just uh, do a little bit things better, especially um, some of the mistakes on defense. Winning on the road just better, huh? Yeah, man, running on the road is good, man. It's just better. It's exciting. <laughs> Thank you, John. No problem. <laughs>